What is this controversy involving Blackpink, the White House, and the Korean president? I've only been gone a week, I'm back now, let's catch up on everything. South Korean president and the first lady are scheduled to visit the White House in April per an invitation by American president Joe Biden and first lady Jill Biden to celebrate the 70th anniversary of Korea-US relations. Well then last week, the chief of South Korea's national security office suddenly resigned after it was reported that although Jill Biden offered that Blackpink perform at the state dinner along with Lady Gaga, he allegedly failed to report this to the president six times. Even why YG Entertainment only recently found out about the request. This was talked about all over the Korean news. Apparently, while many in the government were aware, the president himself was not notified and said to be furious because the poor communication reflects badly on the Korean government, disrespectful to the US government, and could impact the relationship and trust between the two countries. While other reasons for his resignation request were also speculated alongside neglecting the Blackpink offer, his resignation request was accepted regardless within an hour by the Korean presidential office, and according to them, the Blackpink White House performance will not be on the agenda. Thankfully, Treasure were able to act quickly, otherwise we would have seen an even worse accident on stage. During Treasure's Thailand concert as a part of their Asia tour, member Jaehyuk literally walked through fire as the machine reportedly malfunctioned and went off when it wasn't supposed to at that specific moment. You can see the other members making sure he wasn't still on fire, and then get taken to the back for any necessary medical treatment. He's later seen with his right hand bandaged up, but reassured to fans that after they applied ointment and treated it, his hands are now absolutely okay. We also got further reassurance from Exo Sehun regarding the rumors of his allegedly pregnant girlfriend. In the previous video, we talked about Sehun and SM Entertainment denying the rumors that he has a pregnant girlfriend due to a random photo that claimed they were seen at the OBGYN. Sehun expressed how angry he was at the entire situation and has now come out with another statement explaining that the woman who's posting these photos in the first place has been trying to pretend and convince people that they're dating for years now. This is when her years worth of alleged posts were exposed, pretending to wear his watch, acting like she rode in his car, and even claimed to attend a Louis Vuitton show with him, where the photos were later found to have been stolen from someone else's account. Sehun once again reiterated that none of this is true and he doesn't know who this is at all. Another update we finally got to a previous story is regarding the railway employee who was found to have accessed BTS RM's personal information, including address and phone number, 18 times since 2019. This person would also tell their friends when and where they could buy a seat to be close to RM, to which he responded to this entire story with a simple emoji. After this was talked about all over the news, the reported internal audit and suspension, the employee has now been fired. Cheng Ah, on the other hand, wasn't fired but will now be leaving leaving MNH Entertainment on her own accord as she has decided to not renew her contract which is coming to an end. The company also informed us that due to quote internal circumstances, her upcoming album will not be released under the label. With how amazingly talented Chang Ah is, I have no doubt we'll be seeing her again very soon. And on that positive note, let's get into the things we can celebrate in K-pop. First of all, just wanted to clarify some confusion I saw from the last video. TXT will be the first K-pop group to perform and headline Lollapalooza in Chicago, where J-Hope headlined as a solo artist the year prior, and Stray Kids, who just completed their LA Stadium shows, will be the first K-pop artist to headline the festival taking place in France. As you can see, Lollapalooza takes place all around the world. Shout out to The Rose, who just performed in Brazil. Also shout out to Nmix, who on top of debuting on the Billboard 200 for the very first time, have now also taken taken home their first ever career music show win. I think the laughing Haewon meme will forever be iconic, along with Billy's new song which has now also earned them their first ever career music show win. We've had a lot of huge official Korean comebacks and releases including A-Pink, the debut of KQ Entertainment's newest boy group since 80s, Psykers, and of course the solo debut of Blackpink's Jisoo, who by the way has now become the first female solo million seller. And speaking of historic solo releases, congrats to BTS's Jimin as his album Face has debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200, not only making him the first Korean solo artist in history to achieve this, but also now has the highest ranking solo debut on the chart since Olivia Rodrigo. On top of that, Jimin's song Like Crazy debuted number 1 on the Hot 100, once again making him the first Korean soloist to do so. I love all of these first ever accomplishments and records we've been experiencing 
launching just in the past week, from Nmix all the way to Jisoo, to I've achieving the first perfect all kill of 2023 with just their pre-release. And I especially love it when it comes from a name you don't expect, because after becoming the fifth and fastest girl group to debut on the Hot 100, 5050 continue their amazing success, being only the fourth K-pop girl group to debut on the UK singles chart with their viral and awesome song Cupid. While we bid farewell to Monster X's Minhyuk for now as he begins his mandatory military enlistment, of course sent off by his members, we finally, finally get to welcome back Taemin, who is now home from his military enlistment, and immediately hopped on a live stream to talk to fans. I can't wait for the moment we see him reunite with the shiny members again, and another second generation group celebrating is Kara, who just posted about their 16th anniversary, along with the other groups on this anniversary playlist. The former Luna members who recently signed with Jaden Jung's company, who was an instrumental part of Luna's creation and beginnings, might now be bringing back that past magic as their new company recently filed trademark rights for Odd Eyed Circle, a previous Luna subunit that consisted of Kim Lip, Jin Sol, and Chetty. To add to this speculation and anticipation for their re-debut, the label has now dropped a teaser for a project called Artemis, sticking to the theme of the moon where it all began, quote, we rise together, back to the moon, and beyond. However, what's not a secret is while Bam Bam expressed his heartfelt feelings for JB and Jin Young, who recently surprised him at his comeback showcase, he of course did the most Bam Bam thing possible and spoiled GOT7's upcoming album. And you know what? I think they should let Bam Bam name the next album too. Oh, one is. What? Mu try. Mu. Mu. Ah, Mu is. Uh, 이름 태국 걸로는 fuck. <웃음> 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 